<laughs> uh, a little bit rusty, but Braden did a great job from he, the bits I saw. He did a great job in the kitchen. So, so you're pleased uh, to have me back? Yeah. Well, oh, we'll see. Geez, okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, I'm pleased okay, to have you back. Okay, what are we making today? Right, today we're going to, uh, you know, summer started, well, spring started, the weather's out now, so we've got a really fresh um, mm. dish, what we can do out on the barbecue if the weather holds. We're going to make tuna burgers, we're going to fill them with lots of fresh ingredients, a bit of chilli, lots of fresh herbs, cook them so they're nice and juicy, mm. and we've got a sriracha mayo. Oh, yeah. Just to put in a nice toasted shea butter. Okay, cool. So I may be a little rusty, but I'm here to help, okay? <laughs> great. I missed your food, even though I had some great food in the UK. That's a big call, I actually. Learned, I, I learned a lot, too, so hopefully I can help you a bit more in the kitchen. It is great to be back in the Beko Kitchen with Mark. I can't say I did a lot of cooking when I was overseas. <laughs> it's so cheap to eat overseas as well, I noticed. Oh, it's so good as well, isn't it? Especially had, France. Yeah, I had a lot of good home-cooked meals as well. So I might be a bit rusty, but I'm sure I'll get back into the swing of it. So, so get me underway. What do you want me to right. do? Apart from so, stand by and watch. <laughs> so I'm good at that. Right. So first thing we're going to do is we need to char some spring onions. So I've just got a griddle pan here. Okay. And then we'll just we'll just get it nice and hot. And we just so you just want to watch them and get a really nice char mark. So the more colour we get, or the blacker we get it, the more flavour we're going to get. And that's going to be for our um, uh, sriracha sauce. Ooh, yum. So we need to get this on the go now, and okay. then we'll make the sauce a bit later. Nice work. Right. So next job, we've got a food processor here. And we're going to make the tuna burgers. So again, I've got some spring onions. Yep. Uh, we're going to whiz it all up in the food processor, but it's always a good idea just to, uh, you know, roughly chop them. Just helps all uh, speed up the whole process. Okay, so we're going to make patties, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We're cool. going to make our own burgers. I mean, you know, this is great. This is a great way of getting flavour into the uh, tuna, if you want. You know, yep. so we've got spring onions there. We've got some mint. We've got some uh, basil. We're going to put in there chilli. Uh, I've got some ground coriander as well and um, some lemon zest. But you know, if, if you didn't want to uh, you know, mess around with all this, you could just do the tuna steak. You could just cook nice steaks, sear them off, and you could put all these ingredients actually onto the burger, you know, if you wanted. Okay. So it's, so it's entirely up to you, you know. This is going to give us a nice flavour, some patty, isn't oh, it? Oh, definitely, really definitely, definitely. Okay, right. so a little bit of mint. Yeah, mint, basil, uh, yep. ground coriander in there. Going to um, chop the chilli up. Just a little bit, just a nice bit of freshness. You've got the sweetness from the basil and the uh, the mint as well, you know. So that goes, uh, that'll go really uh, well with it, and balance off that um, heat. I went to a place in uh, Europe, uh, in France. I can't remember the name of it because sometimes they all blur into one. But they they have <laughs> chilies on every building. Really? And they they dry all the chilies on every single oh, cool. building. And this place is famous for its chili. It was just everywhere. <laughs> Couldn't, couldn't order a dish without chilli in it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. You yeah, love that. Yeah, no. no, I got used to it, that's for sure. <laughs> so that was that was the whole year of uh, doing chilli recipes that's to get you used to, to that. to get me used to it. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so just uh, dice your tuna up. So it's just the loin. Yep. So just obviously just, just double check, you know, you've got no skin on there or you've got no um, bone in there and everything, but okay. uh, it should be pretty, pretty cool. So that goes in there as well. Going to give it some salt and pepper. And what we want to do now is we're just going to pulse it together. All right, and just make sure you, your tuna's dried off as well. You don't want it too okay. wet, okay? Want well, to just dry it off with a tea towel or a paper yeah, towel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's all. That's all good. And then, uh, and then we just pulse it or just slowly blend it. And it's just all going to come together. You know, all those flavours are going to be in there. And what we what we want is just sort of like a you know a semi fine mixture. We still want a bit of texture, but what it's going to do as it as it grinds down. Um, is going to help stick together, so you can see that now. You know, so just do a tester. Just take a little bit out, and then pop it together. But you can see it's nice and uh, it's nice and sort of compact, oh, sticking together. Yeah, yeah, cool. And we've still got some texture in there. So just give it a quick, little quick whiz. That will be good. Going to pop that into a bowl. Jeez, it smells oh. good. You're right. Yeah. You lose it all. <laughs> We do that every time and never learn, do we? <laughs> right, so we're going to pop that into a bowl, and then what we're going to do is just kind of shape our patties. Okay, cool. How are those spring onions? Yeah, good. It's taking a wee while, actually, but it's heating up now. So. Yeah, that's good. So we're starting to get a bit of colour now, so that's really good. So it's up to you now, however big you want to do your patties, you know, make them nice and chunky. Do them obviously the same size, um, or roughly the same size as your buns, you know, and then you can... Um, Nice. Just sort of press them down onto the board, okay, shape cool. them up, and then yep. ideally in the fridge, 30 minutes to set up before you cook them. Okay, and that helps keep the shape? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, you carry on doing that. I'll give you a hand as well. We need to finish off this tuna burger, which can I just say is smelling sensational. Right, so here are our platters. You can see, you know, you mould them, you can get a nice shape, nice thickness, whatever size you want. And the tuna sticks together because we've, we've pulsed it together. Okay. You know, you do these on the barbecue if you want. 
do it in a pan however you want but a couple of minutes on each side nice color will flip them over you can already see it's cooking from the side it's yep. nice and white so you just you can have a look at those two we put in a bit earlier and uh, you can because it's tuna and they're all fresh ingredients you know you can leave it a little bit under in the center yeah. I reckon that's Keeps about right, right. No, that's beautiful. Good. Yep. So, so it, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit pinkish in the middle? No, 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 that's good. That's Tuna. good. Beautiful. We're happy with that. So you can see the spring onions now, nice and charred. Got a little bit of colour on there. They've just softened up, so they've just lost that sort of rawness. I'm going get to a, get a bun. So you can use whatever buns you want, but these are quite nice. These like little sourdough um, chia batters. Yeah. Just in the same pan, we're just going to griddle it, just toast it lightly, make it nice and fluffy. That's ready to go. Mm. And now we're going to make a sauce. That's, all like, that's what the secret is to a good burger, isn't it? Good oh, sauce. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Good taste in a patty and then a good sauce. So I've got some uh, mayonnaise. Oh, Yum. God. And some sour cream. Mayonnaise, sour cream. That goes in there. A little bit of honey. Just to give you a little bit of sweetness. Yum. A little bit of uh, white wine vinegar just for some sharpness, and then we've got the, our sriracha sauce. Okay, cool. So that goes for in there. Kick. Yeah. All right, you give that a good whisk up. Okay. And then Excuse our spring me, onions. Just going to chop them down, and then that's just going to go in. That gives us a bit of texture and a nice bit of sort of, you know, almost lift the whole uh, chilli sauce. And we've got the sweetness on the honey, so it's going to be nice and balanced. Mmm. That goes in there. Right, we'll give it a taste. And then we can put a little bit of salt and pepper on there. A little bit of lemon juice if you think it needs it. And we're going to finish the um, tuna burgers with some lemon juice as well. I think those patties are just about to be done. I'll do the taste testing. <laughs> Feels like I'm back home. I love this. <laughs> mm. No, that's really good. It's got a nice kick to it. So you've got a nice little kick there. Yeah. You've got the freshness there. We'll probably do another squeeze of lemon juice, I reckon. Okay. There you go, a little bit of, little bit <laughs> of uh, lemon juice in there. Lemon juice on your patties. Right, so we can build them now. Okay, nice. All right, so start with a little bit of sauce. Well, that sauce is so good. Is that enough, or do you want more? More? Oh, right, you can put a little bit, little bit in. But what you've got to do now is you've got to spread it to the sides. You can't just put a dollop in the middle, because you'll, you know, you'll, you'll eat the, um, that's the top. <laughs> start, with the, start with the bottom. Do it again. It's all right. We're going to put more on the top. Good. No, no, both sides. No, it's good. It's good. You don't want too much, otherwise it all falls out when you bite into it, doesn't it? Well, yeah, go. yeah. True as well, but but you need you need enough there. But get right to the sides. Yep. You tomato. Know that, uh, tomato. You know, make sure you sort of cover it, and then just season lightly. Okay, season cool. your tomatoes as well. A lot of people forget you know? that the seasoning in just between a little stages. Bit. Exactly. Right. Patty goes on. We've got a little bit of lettuce as well for some freshness. Mm. You know, look at that. Just taste some nice, nice pieces that can go on there. Oh, this is looking brilliant. Little bit of rocket goes on there, and then yeah, don't forget to put your mayonnaise on top. That goes on there. Look at that, brilliant. Absolutely Fast, easy, brilliant. Perfect for uh, spring and summer. Oh yes, welcome back. I can't wait to try this a little later on, which we'll do towards the end of the show. And if you'd like to try the recipe for yourself, easy to find. It's on our website. These <laughs> look fantastic. Look great, aren't they? Can't Ooh, wait yeah. to get stuck in. No, I can't wait as well.